Good evening and a very warm welcome to our special service for Christmas Eve. It's wonderful that you can join us. We hope that you enjoy taking part in one of the most special services that we hold each year. God our Father, today the Saviour is born and those who live in darkness are seeing a great joy to live in the light of your Son and to share in the good news of your love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who has come into the world. Amen. So we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. So let us seek the forgiveness of God through Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world. Christ came in humility to share our lives, forgive our pride. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ came with good news for all people. Forgive our silence. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ came in love to a world of suffering. Forgive our self-centeredness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us who have known the revelation of that light on earth to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A 
reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the world. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being, and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, he makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire. But of the sun, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever, and the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And in the beginning, Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like clothing, like a boat you will roll them up, and like clothing they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never end. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him 
not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into be him through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What is the DNA of Christmas? Is it a silent night? <clears throat> is it a little town of Bethlehem? Twelve lords are leaping and seven swans are swimming? Is it snow upon snow? Or tinseled angels and school nativities? The star of wonder? No crib for a bed? Is it Gloria in excelsis and angels from the realms of glory and mysterious magi from the east? Christmas is made up of so many things. Gold, frankincense and myrrh, the light of the world for a people walking in darkness. Herod and all Jerusalem with him. The Emperor Augustus and his census. No room at the inn. David's city, Bethlehem. Angels and shepherds, wise men and innkeepers. Carols and mulled wine and mountains of mince pies and cinnamon and cloves, ginger and pudding, turkey and sprouts. One of my son-in-laws hates sprouts, as we discovered to his embarrassment the first time he came to dinner, keen to impress. You know, it's amazing how many different sprout-related items you can find to pop into his Christmas stocking. You see, we never let him forget it. At home, it's different for each one of us, especially this year. There are favourite or even unfavourite foods. There are family traditions and the ghosts of Christmas past finding their way into the present. Thoughts of loved ones near and far. Some have gone ahead of us and we miss them especially at this time of year. And all is mixed and stirred. And Christmas 2020 will be like no other that we can remember. But nothing can stand in the way of Christmas. It will come. There is a drive and an energy to it that not even the Grinch can steal. Centuries of momentum building up 
and bringing us to this moment when a child is born. And the birth of a child, any child, but especially this child, is at one and the same time both the most natural thing in the world and the most miraculous. When his time is ready, there is nothing that will stand in the way of this child being born. And the DNA of Christmas sees this force pulling together the various strands of God's purposes from ages past. The desire of our Creator for people to bear the image of God, to embody His goodness within creation. There is the recognition for the need of a new start, the long thread stretches back to the patriarch Abraham through the people of Israel. The hope for a deliverer like Moses to lead God's people to safety and to teach them his ways. The royal lineage of David, the shepherd of Israel. The embrace of the stranger and the outcast found in that family tree that includes Ruth, the Moabites, and Rahab, the prostitute. Christmas renews our desire for God's glory to dwell on earth. A desire first expressed in the Sinai Desert as the people of Israel created the tabernacle, and then in Jerusalem as the temple and then a second and a third temple was built to be that dwelling place for God on earth. All these things and more are gathered into the double helix that will bring to birth Emmanuel, God with us. There is an inevitability about this birth and also a wonder that it takes place. Inevitability because Jesus fulfills all his people's history. Long centuries may have passed, but God's purposes have remained constant to bring to birth a second Adam who will show the world what God looks like and who will bear the divine image. And there is wonder. Wonder at the patience and compassion and everlasting love of Almighty God who will bring this to pass. Lest we are tempted to think of the Christmas story as speaking of some absentee deity breaking into his creation, think again. This pregnancy has lasted more than nine months. It has spanned generations. It has known mortal threat and danger, and yet it survives. The divine purpose, late in time, yet it comes at just the right time. With the birth comes a new start. As John says, to as many who believed in him, he gave power to become children of God. God's purpose is that this one child is to be joined by others, born not of the will of flesh or of man, or of God, but of God. This is us, you and I. This is the people of God who we call the church. This is where his story becomes our story. His birth makes our second birth possible. God coming to us in the person of Jesus of Nazareth, the one we call Christ, inviting each of us to carry his likeness 
into our lives. Which I guess is one of the reasons we are here tonight. Because the DNA of Christmas is in the end rooted in the one eternal reality. The everlasting, undying, faithful, long-suffering, burning love of God for each and every one of us. That love presses upon us this night and seeks our response. Surely we cannot say, no room. Love, pure love, comes down at Christmas. And where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. Alleluia.
So let us affirm our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified who has, has spoken through the prophets. We, we believe, believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for all the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. Let us pray to Jesus, our Saviour, Christ, born in a stable. Give courage to all who are homeless. Jesus, Saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, for whom the angels sang, give the song of the kingdom to all who weep. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who go. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Christ, whose radiance filled a manger, give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus Christ, Child of Mary, you know and love us. You share our lives and hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because by the power of the Holy Spirit, he took our nature upon him and was born of the Virgin Mary, his mother, that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. Who, in the, same, the night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave me thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remembering his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. 
Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in song to everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, and blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, Lord I, I am Lord, not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. So for all of you at home this evening, I invite you to join with me in spiritual communion, receiving Christ in body, in your own bodies, and in his spirit through your hearts and minds and actions this day.
Lord our Father, in this night, you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ, the morning star, rises in our hearts. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill, and make you partakers of the divine nature, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for, this day and always. Amen. To proclaim the word made flesh and go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. So, we wish you all a very happy Christmas in your own homes 
and we wish you an even more prosperous, and let's face it, a happier new year. God bless you. Thank you.